you guys it's your girl slush today and welcome back to my channel this is not a joke this is really me i know i have been gone for like maybe a whole month but like, it's we about to get into it y'all we about to get into it but before we start this video i want to let you guys know that i did not well i didn't quit youtube that's pretty dramatic slush I did not go on this little hiatus because I gained weight. That was not it at all. She stuck to her goals. I was just under a lot of stress. I'm getting into it, but first I'm going to start off by saying um, today is June 11th. I have my breakfast in front of me, guys. My eyes are hurting because I literally just woke up. As you can see, I was in Jamaica, so like I had sunglasses on, so you can kind of see like right here. It's like, anyways, I was in Jamaica living my best life for my birthday. Happy birthday to me, June 9th, Gemini gang, 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 gang. But, um, I don't know how I always do this. I make food and I'm like, let me record. And people are like, you be smacking, girl. You're a person, you The lights feel so bright to me, too. I don't know. I have really, like, my eyes are so puffy, so I feel like they haven't finished draining, so it's just like, ah. But, anyways, um, my hair is a mess too. <laughs> I'm just a mess, y'all. But I was like, I need to upload this video. Like, I started to feel really bad when I was on vacation. Like, I could see like the notifications and stuff going up, and people were like, "Where have you been?" Some of y'all hitting me up on Instagram. I was like, "Oh my god, like this is not okay." Because I hate when YouTubers do that. I hate when they just go ghost on you. Like, girl, fuck. So I was like, damn, Celeste, you did that. I could at least like you know posted a message or something like you know communication this is a relationship you have to communicate and i didn't communicate so please forgive me i'm trying to drink water y'all because for the last four days i've had nothing but alcohol my pee is literally brown like she needs to rehydrate uh anyways we're gonna get on to that as an update let's go so 10 week challenge i think the last week i uploaded was week six i don't know honestly but the thing is that next week I had uploaded a video, I had recorded a video, right? And I could have sworn I uploaded it, but for some reason it's not uploaded. So if you want me to upload it, I mean, it's like four weeks late. I can upload it. It was a weight, it was a positive weight loss in my video too. It was minus 3.2 pounds if I'm not mistaken. I can upload that one, but just let me know. Um, this video is going to be more of like um, where we are now because clearly the um, challenge has ended. I hope y'all did well though. I hope y'all still stuck to. I hope that I didn't hinder you guys. That's what really makes me sad. I'm like, damn. What if like they gave up hope because it's like, damn. So let's stop. So she must have gained weight or she must have just fell off. That's not good. Right now I'm eating eggs and sausage. That's like my go-to. That's my go-to dinner, breakfast, anything. I really like it. Anyways, okay. So I did that. But this is what happened, y'all. This is why I stopped. I had to take a break. So y'all know I started working, right? First job as an attorney. I had a hearing coming up. And it, it really just took over my life. Like, I had this hearing before a judge, and I was trying to get all this stuff together. I had to submit briefs. I had to do questions. I had a lot of stuff to do, and it was, like, rolling over into my personal life, too. And it literally consumed me. For those two weeks straight, like, that's all I was doing. I was all I was focused on. I was really stressed, too, because I wanted to make sure, like, this is my first client. I just wanted to do a really good job, so it kind of like consumed my life. Like when I left work, I was still focused on it, and I just couldn't like break from it. So that's really what happened. I just needed like work just kind of took over, and I just it's it's not y'all's fault. I like I said, I could have posted something on Instagram or posted something saying that like you know I'm still on this weight loss journey. I just need a little few seconds, but um I didn't. So I apologize for that. I need to find um. Well, the good thing is that that was my first hearing, so I've gotten that out the way, and I kind of know how things work now. But um, in the future, I need to find a way to do what I got to do, YouTube-wise, work-wise, get it all together. But I'm only human. There's only so much I can do. But I do appreciate you guys, like, checking up on me, like, sending me messages on Instagram. So that was really sweet. And, like, I don't, I was like, girl, why did you just respond back? I don't know. I was being a crackhead. I don't know. Um, so, yeah, that's why I took, I just went ghost. I was focusing on that. And once the the hair was over the last week of May. And then I went on my vacation. So I was like, maybe I should just wait till I come back so I can have like more consistent stuff. Cause I was like, I don't want to post because I was gonna post a video that I had made a few weeks ago. And I was like, that's not fair. I'm not gonna do that to them. I'm gonna just come on here and just post like a fresh video and we'll just start from there. So that's what happened with the 10 week challenge. Um 
all together at the challenge though I hit my goal weight for the challenge well did I no so all together like literally guys I got down to the lowest weight that um I've, I've been able to that I've seen which is it's crazy to me but it's really sad to me okay so I'm just gonna tell y'all the way because like it's just too much to try to not say how much I weigh and it's not that I don't want to tell y'all because I'm ashamed of it it's just I really don't like people comparing like I know I do that myself like I see somebody at their weight and they're high and I'm like oh she looks like this if I get to this way I'll look at this and I, I just don't think it's I really don't think it's healthy guys I really don't think it's healthy but I'm just gonna say it because fuck it sorry so the goal weight that my trainer, when I had a trainer, he had said for me was 212. He said I need, he said once I got to 212 pounds that because of the way my body source fat and the way that I'm shaped that I would look the way that I want to look, right? Definitely agree with that because the lowest I've ever weighed in my life was 183, right? And when I was 183, I was super skinny. Like, if y'all saw the pictures, y'all wouldn't even believe I weighed 183. It was like crazy. And um, I don't want to get to that weight again. I don't want to be a skinny girl. I just want to be thick and toned. So... Um, before I lived on my vacation, I got down to 221.8. That's literally been the lowest weight I've gotten down to. Even before I started, like, since I started the journey, yeah. Yeah, like, anyways, I was really proud of myself, right? Because I'm like, damn, like, I really, like, was sticking to this stuff, and I really worked hard to get there. And it wasn't like I was just working hard for the vacation. I was just, in general, just, like, trying to stay focused. And that was Friday. We left, that was Friday morning. We left Friday afternoon. Y'all, I came back to Houston this morning. I weighed myself and I gained 8.2 pounds on vacation. Like, what the fuck? And then what really pisses me off is like, I didn't even go in. Like, you know, like, you know, you know, I'm gonna go on vacation. Like, you just be eating everything. I didn't even do that. Like, I didn't overindulge. I had, like, for breakfast, I had a meal. Lunch, I had one meal. Dinner, I had one meal. Like, it wasn't like I was just eating the whole time. I was drinking the entire time. So that could have been it. I don't know I was just like damn like I was so close like almost at the 212 mark and I don't know my ultimate goal is to get to 199 I just want to be under 200 pounds like I don't like literally I could be at 198 and I'll be fine like I said I was at 183 and I was really really small and I didn't like it so I don't want to get into the 180s I think 190 is pushing it so I think like 195 would be like a perfect place for me to be um but honestly, when I was on vacation, it was crazy. Like, I really, like, could see the results and stuff, which is weird. Because normally, like, at home, I can't see it. But in swimming suits and stuff, I was like, go off there, so. So, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe it was just the Jamaican vibes getting to me. But I was pretty excited. Uh, what else was I supposed to say? Vacation screwed me up. So, today is my, today's Tuesday. June 11th, I am back at home with my additional 8.2 pounds on my body. Pissing me off. And, um, yes, I'm eating eggs and sausage right now. Um, and you know the crazy thing is, it's like, when I saw the scale, like, oh, and another thing, guys, that I stopped doing, I stopped weighing myself every day. When I got down to the lowest, which was 221, um, on Friday, that was after a week of me not weighing myself. So, this shit works. Like, if you don't weigh yourself every day, like, I think it, that's the key. Like, just do it once a week. Because I weighed myself that, that day, right? And I was like, I just knew. I was like, I probably didn't do well. Like, I haven't been weighing myself every day, so I don't know where, where I'm at, like, how I've been doing. And I lost weight, like, I guess, like, it's, you're not seeing it every day, so your mind's not focused on it. Or, I don't know what it is. But, um... That works. So I'm gonna do that. I weighed myself this morning. This is Tuesday. I'll weigh myself again on Friday just to see, like, to see how I'm going. But my new weighing days are gonna be once a week on Friday. So that's gonna be that. Um, I'm not gonna start another challenge. I need to, like, you know, get my life, like, get back on the healthy track. I want to, like, get off this vacation weight first and do, then do some challenges. The challenges are, I don't know. If y'all like them, I'll do them. But I feel like they're kind of boring like you know it's like weighing it like sometimes people are saying like it's not I'm not telling enough I guess or not showing enough so maybe it's boring like just me talking I don't know so maybe I'll just try to like do some like actual videos of like me doing stuff um like I always say please tell me what you want to see um the salt water flushed it really well I'm not doing that again that shit was disgusting I will not do that again I thought about doing it this morning but I was like that water weight don't mean that much to me no me I'm not doing that it's just nasty so, um, yeah. Oh, I do want to try the, um, big vapor rub thing. You put the vapor rub on before you work out. I'm going to try that out and see how that goes. Um, 
There's something else I was about to say. Oh, I switched my diet up. So, you guys know how I was doing keto, right? And then I realized that keto is great. It's great for losing weight really fast, but it's not sustainable for me. It's not. So, I'm not going to not do keto. I'm doing... I'm because I keep saying I'm not doing keto, but technically I am because the only thing that's different, I guess I'm doing low carb, keto slash low carb because I'm still eating my keto meals for lunch. I always have a salad um, and my like healthy keto snacks, but um, I have been adding in like so. Um, I got this like zero calorie keto bread. I added that into my diet. Um, there's like these keto almond flour. They're almond flour tortillas. I added that into my diet. So I'm still like picking keto options, but I'm just adding in more. I don't know if it's calories or carbs because I don't really count it. Maybe I shouldn't see, but I think that's helped me too because when I'm when normally when I'm doing strict keto like that, like I'm hungry. Like by the time it's nighttime, I'm already hungry. So when I wake up in the morning, I'm hungry. I can't even make it through my whole fasting time because I'm hungry and I just break the fast. So um, adding in more food has helped. Um, as far as like my workout schedule goes, normally I do boxing six days a week, but I switched that up to boxing, what is it, five days a week, and then I do muscle training too, five, six, seven. I don't, I really work out six days a week, so we'll see. But Tuesdays and Thursdays are going to be my like weight today, so that's going to help too, because one of my trainers is saying that like, everybody's body is different, and since I want to tone at this point, um, I need to do more like heavy lifting, so I'm going to add that in, incorporate that for two days out of the week. And yeah, guys, um, I'm back. I'm, once again, I'm really sorry for just like up and ghosting y'all like that. That's not cool. But I'm back. I have some new content coming. Hopefully. <laughs> no, I'm going to have some new content coming. And um, once again, I'm really sorry about the Timmy challenge. Like, you guys should definitely post your results. Let me know how it went for you guys. If you want me to do another challenge, let me know. If you have some other videos you want me to do, let me know. I'm down. And yeah, I will see you guys later. Bye.